Hello there developers, here I wanted to show you one of my favorite programs which I use a lot for well games which have pixel art or just still images and you wanted to give them some life. Of course you can do a lot of things through code, which is of course possible, but here sometimes it actually looks better if you do that as a sprite sheet. So what you're seeing on the screen are the options you can actually do with that program. For example, to the, to the left you see like a battler, which is just basically a still image, and then but some effects are being put on, and then you export it as a sprite sheet, which is amazing. Or this explosion thing here. Really, really cool stuff. And you can do that with the program, or the shattering effect, or let's say wind, and as you can see here, just to animate. And you do that extremely fast. So basically what you do, basically you just say, load sprite, you load your sprite, whatever you have, and let's say this is the pre-made here, then you can, I don't know, do a pulsating, jumping, wave, drift, a lot of things. And of course, the difference here is between things which are constantly run, which is timed. So for example, this guy, or oh, grab me, just happily bouncing are timed, so they have an infinite loop. And then things which are just one-time things, like hit. This is perfect for a battler, because what well, you have, like let's say 100 still images, and you want to give them some life. Here you go. And of course, my favorite one, Explode and Shatter. They look just amazing. And of course, here at the bottom, you can kind of simulate them. Then, for example, if you do HD, then it will appear more fine. But General Pixel is, of course, good too. And here, you can change, I don't know, your canvas size or what you want to put it. And of course, this is a little minus because you can only well, choose one of those three. So this is not, in my opinion, the best idea. Of course, you can have the preview bigger and smaller, which is nice. So you can actually check out how that thing looks. And of course, if you go on render, you can render that stuff and save it as a, as a, um, a GIF of frames or just a PNG, which is sweet. So here you got your presets on one of those tabs here. And of course, if you say, now I want to do um, and do my own, I don't know, uh, thing. Let's say, let's change the direction, as you can see. And it already looks kind of different. And you can have some really sweet effects. Um, beside, uh, big chunks. <laughs> so yeah, so for example here, for the fade out, this is basically the explosion, how you want to have it, which is kind of sweet. Then you can tint it. This is basically like in, like in Game Mixer. You make a, a color overlay, so let's say in green, bam. You can do that if you like, or just do some, some fat outline. Let's reset so it's not animating all the time. So you can do some stuff. Outline color, green, whatever. Let's make it green and do it. So basically you can change a lot of things and here we come to the more important parts. Grayscale, yeah, blur, not so important. But here the most important are burst and time and here the action is happening and you can do a lot of a lot of cool stuff. So for example wave effect, you can do some really crazy stuff um, and kind of liquefy it. So you can do a lot of a lot of cool things and you can of course mix and match and put other sprites to the right. And then, for example, if you like that stuff, you can save it as a preset and load it or as a project. So if you like this stuff, you can load it and then load, um, well, and every time you open the program, you can load it and then do this stuff in there. Let's reset this thing. And for example, you wanted to do, I don't know, some other stuff like shake. And come on. No, you're not doing anything. Ah, intensity. Oh Jesus, okay, this is way too much. <laughs> so every time you change one of those thingies here, flash color, yeah, let's say for example, a flashing of a different color. Intensity. As you can see, um, that, that thing you can of course do with, uh, with code, with what, what I do all the time. But for example, if you wanted to do uh, with, uh, well, with this little helper program, as you can see, uh, we are only a few minutes in. You can already do uh, lots of cool stuff, and I highly recommend this program. Of course, but well, 15 bucks is not 
the cheapest part for the value you're getting and the time saver are immense so just um, if you're looking for some really quick stuff you want to put in your game here you go so hopefully that was of interest to you because i really really like that program not sponsored by the way um <laughs> get juicefix if you want to do that too quite fast so have a good one one up indeed